All right, good evening. This is Nick Marine here. In fact, there it is. Just got a new webcam, so I'm just going to play around with it a bit. What this cl th what this video is for is uh, students who are taking my Remembering the Kana class on the uh, on the base in Yokosuka. Um, idea is I'm going to show them exactly step by step how to go about loading up Anki and a couple other steps to help them get the most out of this uh, uh, reviewing with the flashcards. Some other students noticed they really liked Anki, so I'm going to show it to them. Uh, those that are doing the kanji class, I might reference this video, so I'm not having to re record the same thing, because the uh, first part, at least, is going to be repetitive. All right, so let's begin. First off, we're going to bring up our uh, website. Going to go into this ichi2.net slash Anki. Type that in. There's no www on here. Should bring up this screen. Okay, what you're going to do is come down here, click download for depending on what you're using, either Mac or Windows, Linux, whichever. So you download that, you should, like for myself, I'm using Firefox, so it should be downloading. I'm just going to pause it right now, but I'm just going to download it. And what you should do is load it up, uh, click run, it should load up automatically. Uh, what you will get is now this thing right here. It should be Anki, and what I do is I put a shortcut on my web page, on my desktop, so I can get to it quickly. So there we go. Alright, so here we are. It says, welcome to Anki. Click download to get started. So first things first, you're going to go to files, download. And uh, for right now, we're going to do shared plugin. There's a reason for this. Uh, what it's going to bring up are some very common plugins. First thing you want to do, though, is get this right here, which is called Japanese support. All you have to do then is come down here, click OK. So highlight Japanese support and click OK, and it will load that up. Uh, and then all you do is just close out of Anki and start it back up again. I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it here. Uh, next thing we want to do is get that Kana deck that I made for y'all. So we're going to download Shared Deck right here. Should come up with a list of uh, all the common downloaded decks. Uh, it's going to be from the high, most downloaded to the least as soon as it comes up. It takes too long, I'll pause it and edit this part out. All right, so here we are. All you got to do is type in Remembering the Kana. Okay, there are two decks. One was made by a nice gentleman. We'll pick the first one uh, made 21 days ago. There you'll see my email address uh, in which to pick it up. All right, so we're just going to go in. All you got to do is click OK, and it will download. Close that out. In my case, I'm just going to open it up. Okay, since that took a little bit, what I did is I loaded it back up. So here we have, this is what you should see about... Right now you got it set to how many new cards a day. You could set this to whatever number you wish, maybe 40 or something. Cover what you're learning in class. Uh, so after this, let's do this real quick. Let's uh, start um, show new cards in order added. Uh, spread. Um, show new cards after all other cards. View cards from the largest sample. Show failed cards soon. These are settings. Uh, session limits you can set to 10 minutes or zero. Uh, don't think for the moment matters. Just set this right now, new cards to 50. All right, we're going to start reviewing. Okay, so this is what happens. I'll show you the uh, letter which you need to write out. So you see it in the Romaji. You need to write it out by hand. And then uh, this will give you an example what which one we're talking about. In, as in singing rain. And you want to see that, that comes into it. Just click space bar. Now automatically choose an E. This means you write the E twice because it's listed twice, as in good. Here it comes up, or in, graffiti, king, comes up, iku, again, write it out. If you don't, if either one of these characters is wrong, when you write it out, mark it wrong. That's all you have to do. And when you mark it wrong, you see down here, it comes out, and it will just mean, hey, I'll see that again in about two minutes, in ten minutes, sorry. And you just do this for each of the characters on the class of what you're doing, and good or whatnot. So let's say kui, like cook, ku, cook, kudata, kui. And this, let's just say I got it wrong. See, now we got two wrong, and we got 44 cards left. Or, until you see that you don't have, if you looked on the handout sheet I gave you, just still the bottom of when it says, okay, that's the last words for that lesson. Then you can stop there. You don't have that go on further unless it's by your own choice. All right, now, right now, I want to show you a nice little trick, though. Uh, what you're going to do is, 
uh, do a Google search on kanji stroke order. Okay? And on the, so let me go back. You should get this little nihilist or gerg, whatever. Okay, come down here, and you want to then just download this font right here, kanji stroke order font. And what happens is you're going to get the nice little fonts here with numbers beside it, tell you where the stroke starts. In fact, which order of the strokes, and then which also what, where, where the pen is starting and from going from where. It's very useful. Not only from here, for kana, but also when you move into kanji, like it's showing in this. All right, so what does that mean? All right, so you've downloaded it. What you would do is, it comes out in a, um, uh, actually, let me just show you. Okay, it's still downloading, uh, but what will happen was this. You're going to unzip it. It's going to be a file there, a TTF file. What you're going to do is copy it over into, you're going to copy it over into this, right, program to Windows. Come down here, fonts. Copy it into here. It will be kanji stroke orders. In fact, mine's already in here. As you can see, I've already got mine already in here. Okay, so what does that mean? Okay, we go to Anki. This is the steps you're going to do. Go to settings. I'm sorry, take that back. Go to tools. Settings, fonts and colors. Okay, go to fields. What you want to do is for the kana word, you want to use a custom font, and you're going to pick kanji stroke order. Okay, same thing you want to do is for kana. Okay, same thing. Use kanji font orders. Okay, we're going to close this out. All right. So what's going to happen is this. So here we are. We're going hen h e n. Okay. It may be difficult to see from this. Uh, maybe I can make it bigger, but that would have the numbers on side of it. So what I can do is I can go to settings again, fonts and colors, fields. Right here, the Kana word. Instead of 48, let's make it bigger. Let's make it, let's say, 72. Okay. Close. Now you can kind of see the letters, the numbers starting to come up. Actually, it's kind of easy because these are each going to be a, the first stroke. It just shows you barely where it's going to start off at. So you say, that's good. Hey, good. Hand. Let's say you got that wrong. And no. No, no. Kun no. K. And again, just look at K. One, two, three. One, two. And you're done. All right. So. After that, it's just a matter of doing a file you can save as and put it right in here. I put it in this folder here. It just happens to be uh, where I like it at. And I save it as RTK Kana. And really just go from that step and you're, and you're good to go. If there are any further questions, please list it on the, either the YouTube channel comments or also give it to me in the that way, if any other students have it, they can see it, or anybody else who's not taking my class but wants to watch this video can get some information. Uh, further matters, what I'll also do is another video dealing with kanji, how to do it, basically a similar thing using a different file uh, from, our, from the Anki downloads. So again, thing with Anki, it's a very good program. However, there are some complicated bits to it. it uh, it takes a little bit of getting used to for the user. However, once you've gotten used to it, you find it's a very good program, both um, for your various studies, even if it's work-related, such as for myself, I use it for work uh, sometimes. Uh, just remember uh, odds and ends. That's not even related to uh, Japanese. Okay, uh, we'll end it there. Uh, another video, and also in addition to those wondering, I'll be finishing up the drama note script, or how to use uh, dramas for, video, for Japanese learning, and then continue on with the, uh, essentially the roadmap for learning Japanese from beginner all the way to intermediate. Uh, it replicates the uh, thread I made on, re on the remember, uh, reviewing the kanji web forms. All right, thank you very much.